Subscribe Gadget Filter channel and tap the bell icon to never miss any update. What's going on YouTube? This is Shadat Shubud back once again from Gadget Filter channel and in this video I am going to giving you a tour of Resurrection Remix ROM for Moto G5 Plus. I will talk about features, performance and bugs of this ROM. So guys sit back, relax and enjoy the show. So before going for review there will be more custom room reviews for Moto G5 Plus just like this one. So guys make sure to subscribe and let's see what we have got in this amazing room. This room comes with 5th July 2017 security patch and this is the latest patch. Also it is based on Android Nougat 7.1.2 which is really awesome. This room is also based on Lineage OS as well as the kernel they are using is also Lineage kernel. So guys, first let's go and see what customization option Resurrection Remix are going to offering us. In the settings menu, you will get configuration options. Here you will get all the customization options. I will not go through all of the features because the video will be too long if I show you guys all of the customization options. So in the configuration settings you will get 10 things to customize. They are status bar, panels, recents, quick settings, lock screen, gestures, buttons, animations, interface and miscellaneous. In the status bar option you can change battery style and clock position and style. Here you can set resurrection remix logo as well as you can set custom logos. There are lots of logos you will find there. You can set it, color it or can change its position. Here you will get status bar gestures. You can adjust your display brightness level by sliding across the status bar and double tap on status bar to turn off the display also present there. In the panel option you can customize your notification panel header. You can set it dynamic or static. If you choose dynamic, you will see the image on the header. You can change it or shadow it. As well as you can add weather info there. You will get here power dialog customization option. Here you can set your transparency on power or reboot menu. You can also deem it as your choice to focus only menu options. Then there is recent. You can set recent menu on immersive mode or full screen mode as well as you can add memory bar, lock icon, clock and date to the recent panel. Then there is quick settings, here you will find quick settings animations, quick pull down option. In the quick settings menu you can change positions of the icons, can add another icons after the another one. After that there is lock screen, here you will get lock screen gestures like double tap on the lock screen to sleep and long press power menu to activate torch. This is really cool. Then there is gestures which I liked mostly on this room. Here you will get app circle bar and pie control. Both are pretty much same swipe to open, both are very useful but their functionality is different. By swiping app circle bar you will get some important apps and you can choose your apps to show there. And clicking on the apps will take you to the app. And by swiping pie control you will get soft keys and some informations like clock, date, weather and so on. Then there is buttons to enable or disable navigation bars animations to choose different system animation style, interface to change font, display, pixel density size and miscellaneous for clock and widget settings and some blocker. So guys that's it in the customization section. The performance of this ROM is pretty much fine. This ROM is pretty much smooth and fast. I didn't see any lag there. Battery backup is also decent. I am satisfied with the battery backup. Where you will get that type of customization you have to sacrifice something but here the battery backup I found is also good. The camera of this room is normal, you will get lots of options, front camera is pretty much nice but the back camera I found some noise. So there is one bug that I found on this room. That is when my device is off for some time, fingerprint sensor does not work. After open by manually, then the fingerprint sensor works smoothly. So guys that's pretty much it, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see this kind of ROM reviews for Moto G5 Plus, subscribe to this channel and I will catch you very soon in the next one.